technically the parish share is a voluntary contribution. Tell us what you think, generally interrupt. Frankly, it's a taxation system. You don't know who's going to be included four months later. It's a nonsensical statement, that. Well, as you can see, discussion of parish share causes feelings to run high. So as we set about listening to people here in the Diocese of Manchester, in order to reassess the way in which we calculate parish share, we thought we'd give you a glimpse into the life of our diocese. Hello, Church House. Church House in central Manchester is the administrative hub of the diocese, where around 40 people work in education, mission and ministry, finance and IT, and support services. I'll tell you what, I'll, do, I'll, I'll draft a press release for you and then we'll think about getting that to the Daily Mail. We get um, loads of enquiries that come through to here. We also support ministers on a day-to-day -day basis. See you, Thank you very much. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm the Diocesan Gift Aid Advisor. I'm the Diocesan Youth Officer. Give them different experiences of church, allow them to be part of the church, give them responsibilities that aren't tokenistic. I go into a school, a breakfast club, a break time club and a lunch time club as well. It's the hope of the diocese that its activities on your behalf make sure that not a single part of it is excluded from the healing love of Christ. And Jesus praised his followers by saying, When I was hungry, you fed me. Thirsty, you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you received me. Naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you took care of me. In prison, and you visited me. I tell you, whenever you did this for one of the least of these brothers of mine, you did it for me. Um, you said that we were running a balanced budget in the Diocese of Manchester. So in that, in that, on that basis, what's the problem? We are managing to balance the budget and survive, but it's the opportunity that collectively we're losing. You can't outgive God. You know, the Lord never takes anything that he doesn't give you back a hundred times. <laughs>